So this is Bellevue. Um, again, you know, Randy won this one. I think it was right before New Year's Eve. It turned into a went from a minor hotel. Uh, so we bought it for thirty thousand. Uh, so we just run the numbers up here. I think we were all in for thirty. This is Illinois, so it's point one. I can't remember what the buyer's premium was, but I think we were originally thinking something like twenty-two. Oh, that's rehab. Yeah. Originally, we were thinking something like this. Uh, what that's was right. It? Ninety. I think we're being conservative. It was like ninety. Yeah, ninety estimates. So we're like, okay, ninety. Old tail. We were like we're thinking to a hundred, maybe. Oops, missing a zero. So we were thinking something in that range, you know, with, we had a private lender on it you knock off a few grand call it high thirties net uh, there on that. What you could clearly see here is this isn't a minor hotel at all. Um, Turned into more than we thought. <laughs> it's a full rehab <laughs> uh, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, looks decent. These are the, these is listed on MLS now. This just happened. Uh, the rehab finished last week. You can see we, we put in new cabinets, mm -hmm. uh, new flooring, new paint, new appliances. Uh, the contractor Randy found, found was pretty solid guy. Uh, it took us like a month to find a contractor in this market, but we we found one and he was you know very good. good. You know we had a surprise email probably every seven to ten days on another. This happened. This happened. But at the end of the day, all this work will will get a higher uh, price, and, higher ARV, yeah, and, and then also higher inflation from what we originally thought prices were back in January. Yeah, uh, prices continue to increase in that area. This is a suburb of St. Louis. So this we have turned out like really cool. We yeah, added some additional square footage too in this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good point too. We actually added square footage too. Well, I didn't, but the contractor did. Yeah, he yeah. figured out a way to do it. Made the master bedroom bigger yeah. so you can- Oh, that's right. They got rid of the handicap ramp. I forgot about that. There's a handicap yeah. ramp here. It looks good. But that's, you know, that's listed with uh, Mike, our agent. His goal is to listen- uh, 115 thing will go in the 120s uh randy do we have any updates on anything yet i see you're on the call hey there um no updates yet i know i did hear from him uh as far as like final updates with some invoicing stuff so um he's planning on getting to another one out there too so i'll be following up with him later this afternoon to see Perfect. if we have any showings or anything like that yeah okay cool but yeah, hopefully this weekend, this one gets under contract uh, and we'll see what the prices are. Uh, but, you know, we could we could almost take any loan buyer at this point, given the renovations we did. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll qualify for anything at this yep. point. Yep. But, uh, you know, Randy, congrats on your, you know, your first rehab in the program. It looks pretty yeah, damn good. Really, really good. Yeah. Manage yeah. it well. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. I like it. Yeah. What was the, uh, what was the, uh, when did, when did you go under contract with this? It was right before New Year's, right? It was in the last week of December, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Let me let me pull this up. Literally, it took like six weeks to find a contractor. It, it was it did. brutal. Like, I don't think we found one until February. Right. We won the contract, and then obviously the time yeah, it takes to get it closed and then take possession and then find a contractor. So it took a little time. It was. Yeah, it took a little time for sure. I'm trying to see if I can find a date on this HUD. For some reason, I'm not finding a closing date, but it took a good month for us to get to find. We went through a few different contractors to um, see which one we wanted, right? We were one, willing to wait for this guy because he definitely seemed he was better than the other ones, yeah. <laughs> for sure, and ended up being the right thing to do. Sometimes it's better to wait for the yeah, better one than to rush into the to the wrong one here. Yeah. That's yeah, right. I think we won it at auction the last week and we closed on it in the January. January 24th. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So basically we wait until the very end of February, early March, or I think maybe early March he started, maybe. Early I March he started. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and given all the work he did, adding some oh, yeah. to the place, that's a pretty quick rehab. Uh, for, yeah, for he did it quick. He did it so, quick interior, exterior. Both. Mike, what was so when you initially showed the numbers, you had twenty two thousand, but you were calling it a whole tail. Was that mm -hmm. that seemed it was, was the was the renovations eventually around 22 or was that what you original what was the original no that was the original it? thought we end up being around 56 okay. a lot more than we thought that's what we added happen. square footage and it made all and we did a whole new kitchen instead of painting the kitchen cabinets right so we did that a new black backsplash two brand new bathrooms right completely gutted the bathrooms had to structurally resupport the house because there was under part of the house there was no structural support so he had to he had to redo some stuff structurally which adds a lot of cost that's how we got up to 56k but luckily we bought right we had a million different ways to get out of this thing with it but 
we bought it right. We're still, we're into it for more than we want to, but we're still going to sell it and make money on this property. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so 22 K on a wholesale seems on the higher end. I mean, and not anymore. Been, <laughs> <no>? <laughs> not yeah. anymore. It seems like, yeah, it's almost like the new, yeah, it's a good point, Paul. Yeah. It is. It's so ridiculous what things cost anymore, Steve, like yeah. I mean, hot yeah. water heater. I just got a new hot water heater. I used to pay $700, six, $700. They're twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for a hot water heater now. Just to buy the hot water, they're running six, seven, eight hundred dollars just to buy the hot water heater, not to install, not to do anything else. So the yeah. costs have gone so through the roof. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean that's a good. Yeah. I mean if you put in almost sixty grand in you know a couple months, that you move that uh, your contractor moved through things, given everything that had to get done. Well, he did. Quickly. He was like, quick. He, he was huge. He was He's quick. yeah, did a great job. And and we're. Now we have boots on the ground. Like we're we're gonna hammer that area of St. Louis or it's Bellevue, Illinois. Illinois yeah, very, it's yeah, yeah. But it's a suburb of St. Louis, essentially. Yeah, it's across the river. It, they got a great uh, they got a great historic monument, uh, Cahokia, uh, down not not far from Bellevue. Oh yeah, okay. interesting. Yeah, they got. You might uh, visit one day. <laughs> earthen, earthen. Yeah, just don't get lost in East St. Louis because you might not get out. <laughs> yeah, true. A danger zone. Um, so, hey, so what are the, what are, so you guys clearly, I mean, I haven't been doing this too much of late, but what are your numbers that you guys do for your rehab estimates based on square footage? Like where are those these days? I mean, Here's you guys, our updated kind of hotel sheet. If you're going to itemize stuff, like, yeah. like, like originally in that property, we were estimating where the 22 came from, new appliances, new countertop. Uh, not new carpet, new flooring, uh, new flooring, ceramic tile. So we've been using this, Steve, because this is yeah. getting more updated pricing now, like per, yeah. instead of this basic square footage approach, we've been using this, which I got you. a little bit better so numbers. Rather, yeah. So rather yeah, than, rather I mean, there's than like some windows or something, I mean, just as this stuff getting you to 16, yeah. here's our oops factor. And then I think we were going to do like, I think the one bathroom had to be updated and maybe some windows. And I got to say, we need a few windows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so that, was your whole, that was your whole tale. So, so when you guys are looking at something, something, this just formalizes, you know, making sure you're not kind of missing anything. It's, it's a little bit more detailed than just saying, Hey, it's a 30, $30 per, yeah. per square foot kind of. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to do four rehab, we have that formula down here. You know, you just take the 1400 times that, but you got to add in all the other stuff that's like in blue. So it's like an HVAC. You got to add yeah. extra for windows, roof, septic, you, you name it. So that's I like, Oh, okay. That's like you're redo everything interior, everything else is extra, right? Got it. Okay. But in this case, we early on we itemized it because it wasn't a full rehab, but it was like, okay, you don't have to redo the kitchen we thought originally, but all right. Now I now and the, are you how how are you guys adjusting this? So Bellevue, Illinois versus uh Tampa, Florida, right? I mean your dollar value per you yeah, different of, types, different yeah. types of rehabs. Yeah, for sure. You know, it, I mean, we so we was, weren't even planning on rehabbing at all Florida. So we didn't even look at numbers on that. Got I, I did. I used kind of like general square general, footage numbers, general yeah. square footage numbers. I think and it was pretty darn right after you and Paul or David visited, Paul. Yeah, yeah um, for we, sure. I was yeah. thinking 25 to 30 a unit or something. Per or unit. Per unit. Yeah, yeah. 25 the unit or something like that. Uh, and it was pretty close based on their walkthrough. Uh, what yeah. They were kind of guessing. Because that was our other option for that. If we had a rehab, and what can the ARV get if we put that these repairs into it, essentially? Right. Yeah. Which we didn't want to do, and luckily we won't have to do. Yeah. And we kind of knew that we would probably be able to just list these as is. Duplexes don't come up very often in the market, and especially in that market, which is red hot right now. So yeah, I mean, it worked out pretty good. Country, I would say. Yeah, it should be our biggest wholesale deal ever because we should net somewhere around 200k. Yeah, on this, it's four properties, right? So I mean, the previous big one for me is So I mean, that's a big jump, yeah, for me. Yeah, and this was this was um, a wholesaler friend of mine contact I've had in a mastermind for many years that brought it to me. So that's why it's like it's not just doing auctions and you know MLS, but the wholesalers have been a big part of our business here yeah. over the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, we pivoted back to more like eighty percent auctions now. Oh yeah, for sure. Corey's back, but. Yeah, we had to pivot to wholesalers more in 2020 when the auctions went to zero, basically. Yep. Yeah. Now we'll find them and take them wherever they come. Yeah. <laughs>